How do I even say this? <laughs> It's, it's hard to put in words because everybody is burnt out. It's been months of, of working and unfortunately there's still no end in sight because we're not getting to that herd immunity number. There was a quote that said, on the outside it may look like everything is fine, but inside, deep down, my sock is sliding off inside my shoe. And that's how some days feel. The hardest phone call I had to make was to a mother of a patient that was dying. This is the busiest I've seen this place. I have, you know, there, I have never seen a waiting room so busy. We're doing our best to, to move people through and to, to treat people and to sort of triage and sort through the sickest people, but it's been hard. It's been, it's been really emotionally and intellectually challenging to try and look at a waiting room that, you know, it's full of people and people have been waiting there and to know that they've been sitting there and it's sort of, we're not used to that up here. We really need to shift where we've been from can we prevent the virus? Can we stop the spread? Sadly enough, that's too late. It's spread through the world. Really, the goal now is we really want to try to keep people out of the hospital. We want to prevent the severe sickness. This is where the vaccine is our first and our best defense still to this day. If you were to just like Google the COVID vaccine side effects, you will find all sorts of very misleading information that's all wrong. And so the person who's just trying to look through it, who has a speci specifically, they have a certain news source they might look at or certain places where they get their news, they're gonna find stuff that's all just total fallacy and wrong. So if I was going to rebuild an engine, I wouldn't just research it online and kind of take a guess and try the best way to do it. I would go to some expert who knows it. I've been your doctor for 20 years. You've trusted me with things. I've, I've, I know this well. I know vaccines very well. I've given this to my family. I, I recommend this to everybody. I think you should get this. I had the vaccine for two reasons. One, so I could be available to take care of the people in my community that needed it. And two, so I could hug my 87-year-old mom again. I think it's really important for the public to know that healthcare workers care about them. That's why we're here. My child is still unvaccinated because she is ineligible. And it frustrates me as a healthcare provider and a mother that people that are vulnerable are still vulnerable to this disease from lack of vaccinations from other people in this community. Cancer patients in particular have been devastated by COVID-19. There's this heightened fear and concern about their risks. Cancer patients across the board are at heightened risk of getting COVID-related serious complications. Kids are getting sicker. The kids who can't be vaccinated yet are unfortunately getting more COVID and missing more school. So to help yourselves, you should get vaccinated. But to help our community get back to normal as quickly as possible, we should get vaccinated. To help our hospitals not get overwhelmed like they did last fall, we should all get vaccinated. I think one of the big things too that we run into is our patients who are considering or thinking about becoming pregnant and there are these rumors out there that state that you know patients will get infertility from the vaccine. There is nothing to say that that is true and in fact I would recommend obviously to get the vaccination before even becoming pregnant just so you can be in your best healthy state moving forward. I think that some people are still concerned of how quickly the vaccines were made. Um, from our perspective, it's really a testament to modern science and medicine. This is by no means the first vaccine that we've ever made, and so there's a lot of experience for the past hundred years that have gone into making this quickly and safely. As a pediatrician, I get to deal with vaccines every day. Vaccines have been the greatest public health victory of centuries. We are in a time when we really don't remember what it was like to have polio pandemics. We are really very fortunate. Over the last couple of years, we've started to see what it's like to have a pandemic that really affects the entire globe. There have been hundreds of thousands of people who have died in the United States. There have been millions who have died worldwide. All of our lives have been affected in profound ways. And the solution to that pandemic is really quite obvious at this point. It's for as many people to get vaccinated as possible. That is our way out of this crisis. I think people are just angry. Um, and I think people are just lost some sense of compassion. You know, I think we need to, as human beings, come together. It's gonna take every one of us together to fight this disease. There are some people that I feel like 
made a decision early on that they said, I'm not going to get the vaccine because of X, Y, or Z, because of my political beliefs or whatever it may be, it's okay to think about those things again and to change your mind. I worry with people that have, are making a choice not to get the vaccine and waiting to see what happens, that they won't have that opportunity to change their mind. 